Likelihood ratios are an alternative way of describing the performance of a diagnostic test. They summarise the same kind of information as sensitivity and specificity and can be used to calculate the probability of disease after a positive or negative test result. Essentially, they combine information about sensitivity and specificity into a single clinically useful measure. And because of this, they don't depend on the prevalence of the disease, but are fixed, independent characteristics of the test itself, unlike predictive values. Different tests have different likelihood ratios, and the clinical implications of these vary as shown by the rules of thumb in this table. A test with a high positive likelihood ratio is useful to rule in a disease, while a test with a low negative likelihood ratio is useful to rule one out. For example, say you have a patient with anemia and a serum ferritin of 60 millimoles per litre. You find in an article that 90% of patients with iron deficiency anemia have serum ferritins in the same range as your patient, this is the sensitivity, and that 15% of patients with other causes for anemia have serum ferritins in the same range. If you calculate the positive likelihood ratio, you get a value of 6. This means that your patient's result would be substantially more likely to be seen in someone with, as opposed to someone without, iron deficiency anemia. There's nothing to stop you from calculating the negative likelihood ratio instead. So if we stick with the same example, a negative likelihood ratio value of 0.12 means that your patient's result would be substantially less likely to be seen in someone without as opposed to someone with iron deficiency anemia. This is essentially saying the same thing as the positive likelihood ratio value but from the opposite perspective.